I, I don't know that we figured all of this out, but I think a couple of things that we figured out. I think that it's clear to me that uh, over time, the uh, encounters that have happened, whether it's like, you know, in the 49 or whenever it was, in the Himalayas, when they first took pictures and came up with the idea of uh, a flying saucer, you know, and you have these grainy images of, of things. Obviously, there's something there. Uh, what it is, no one knows. They call it a flying saucer. Then you have uh, um, closer encounters, you know, more uh, specific uh, photographs, et cetera, more specific descriptions. Then you have the Barney Hill, the, the Betty and Barney Hill uh, in the 60s, where there's an actual abduction. And then you have things like the Phoenix Lights or the Hudson Valley situation. It's very clear to me that um, there's a desensitization that's going on. And now even when the federal government, you know, the Pentagon comes out and says, well, you know, there's 147 instances that we've studied that we have no idea what they are. We know that there's this craft. We know that it can maneuver. We know that it's not from Russia. We know it's not from China. Well, it doesn't leave you with many alternatives as far as an explanation. And I just have this feeling, and, and actually Dawn Hess under hypnosis says this. So I, I, they uh, let me ask her a couple of questions. The doctor let me ask her a couple of questions. So I said, um, I said, when will this happen? You know, this encounter between this, this face off, this, this meeting, this uh, communion, this is, I don't know. So then I, I pressed her, I said, will it happen in my lifetime? And she says, how long will you live? Then an incredible answer. So I said, well, it happened in my children's lifetime. And she said, it will happen in your children's lifetime. I think that's incredibly accurate. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. Some part of me feels like it's happening. I mean, look yeah. at all the disclosure that's been going on. Yes. I just had uh, Colm Kelleher. I don't know if you know who he is. He ran the investigations over at Skinwalker Ranch. Uh, oh, I see. Well, I see. I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I have this, guy, yeah. this guy has seen some shit, bro. Uh, and wow. he's used his investigations have used government money like 22 million dollars went into the of government mm -hmm. money went yeah. to investigating yeah. the paranormal there mm -hmm. and um we we just had a huge conversation about how like all of this is gonna is, is opening up now 